I'm so excited to talk to you about my favorite game, Sculpture. Sometimes we call it molding, sometimes you call it statues, but whatever it is, it takes a really neutral body, a still child, and we end up putting them in a little position that tells a story. One person is the clay, that's the still person, and the other person is the artist. Of course, you'll end up switching, so each kid gets to experience both things, but in this moment, the one person who's the clay, all they have to do is stand there and receive whatever's gonna be sculpted on them. I love to start with a great title. Now for pre-K kids or kindergarten kids, a title can simply be like a funny mashup of a noun and an adjective or a verb, right? So it's like the sneezy princess, but whatever it is, the title will springboard the sculptor. Talk to your kids about hinges, where the body hinges, elbows and wrists and neck and knees. Being respectful of your partner's body is key. This is a great opportunity to have non-verbal learning and listening going on. Music is really great to set the mood here. So some kind of soothing music in the background that encourages that non-verbal communication and also that relaxing mood. And you can take it a step further even and have a little wind-up key in the back of the sculpture and have the artist turn it on and magically oh, the sculpture will come strange. to life, maybe say the quote or embody the action, and then zoonk, go back into its clay-like form. For more games and tools, subscribe to our channel.